Hey, 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 welcome back to Chronicles of the Curvaceous. You know we fabulous and tenacious. We dropping faith-based weight loss motivation. Hey, y'all, it's Queen Fitness here. I'm back again for yet another video. It's Veto Day number 11, and y'all know what the day is. It's Workout Wednesday, Workout Wednesday. Yeah, baby. I want to just come on and talk for a few minutes. I ain't got long, y'all. I just want to talk for a few minutes about this myth. You know how people got this false illusion that in order for you to get a workout in, it's going to require a ton of money, a personal trainer, um, all this expensive uh, workout gear, the, the all this equipment, all this. It don't take all that, sis. It do not take all of that for you to get a good workout in. You can get a good workout in right in the comfort of your own home, using your own body weight. You're not required to have all of those things. Now, trust me now, if, if that's what you need, then get what you need, sis. But you can start right where you are with what you got in the house. You ain't got to use no equipment. Use your body. And just put on you some comfortable clothes. Get down there on your floor and do you some um some sit-ups. You can stand right there in place and do you some squats. Do you the old school like we used to do in elementary school. Do you some jumping jacks. Do you some knee raises. Do you some um some toe touches. It, you can do the exercises with your own body weight right there at the house. It don't take all of that. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all a quick story time. Um, a few years ago, I ain't going to tell you exactly how many years ago because I really don't exactly remember. But I do remember it was in a transitional period in my life. I had just got through waiting tables for several years and I was like on a break. I really wasn't working anywhere at the time. And when I left that job after waiting tables, I had went up to a size 2x work shirt to let at when i left work i was at a 2x work shirt and gained all this weight and i told my husband i was like well he was my husband then he my husband now but i told my husband i was like i want to um lose weight and i need to get this off so he was like okay come on i got you so what we did in a span of four months y'all four month time period we just walked across time and back every day and then when we got home we would do um calf raises we would do squats we would do sit-ups and we would do push-ups now y'all i couldn't do no milita military style push-ups i still can't do no military style push-ups i did the one the kind of push-ups that a woman would do i did sit-ups i did calf raises and i um and I walked across town. And in in four months, I went from wearing a size 2X shirt to wearing a medium shirt. So I know that it can be done. And y'all, it didn't, it didn't take no money. I really knew I couldn't even use no money because I ain't had none. I ain't changed my eating habits. I just, would, just decided that I was going to be active and I was going to pursue changing my lifestyle i wanted to get this weight off and i did what was necessary if you really really want to see results you have to put in the work now you got to make up in your mind that where you at you don't want to be there and you got to be willing to sacrifice and develop the discipline that you need to get it done like i said in four months in four months i went from a size 2x shirt to a size medium shirt and i didn't change my eating habits but i just worked out i was consistent and i worked out hard and sometimes it takes hard work in order for you to see the pounds come off see the see the changes in your body that you desire to see and actually you know progress i am really really trying to become more focused in this this season in my life and put more commitment on the line because at the end of the day i realized that where i'm at i didn't get overnight and i won't i won't change where i'm at overnight but if i keep showing up for me every day 
if I keep doing what's necessary for me every day, eventually I will reach my goal. And I hope that this message um, minister to you and encourage you to get up and get your word. Don't let the fact that you don't have no money stop you from doing it. Don't let the fact that you don't have the cutest outfit to work out in stop you from doing it. Don't let the fact that you don't have no workout equipment stop you from doing it. Don't let the fact that you don't have a gym membership stop you from doing it. No, come on, sis. Do what is in your power at your level. Right now, if all you can do right now is walk around your neighborhood walk around your neighborhood get you a vigorous little walk in and walk around your neighborhood maybe you're not to a point where you could do five miles or three miles give do that one mile consistently do the one mile get up do a mile every day do a mile every day work on it till you can build your stamina up once you get that one mile down then you can progress and do two miles a day it's it's building start somewhere that's all this it just take you start somewhere give yourself a good 15 20 minutes and just consistently doing it and eventually that that progress will show up eventually you'll be excited about the growth and the advancement developing your own life but stay keep your eyes on your own paper don't be sitting here trying to compare yourself to Sally who who been who got uh who has invested in getting her personal trainer and who don't have the bypass and who don't have don't be going to compare yourself to them type of people. No. Look, you start take that first initial picture. You might not like it. I know I ain't like my first picture. I promise you I didn't. But I took it because I realized that I was declaring by taking that picture that this was not going to be my final outcome. That I was going to make the changes and I was going to grow and I was going to get from that place. So I took the picture. I prayed my way through the first workout. And then the next day I got back up and I got another workout in. And I got another workout in. And I got another workout in. So here it is almost 10 years later. I'm get, still getting workouts in. I'm comfortable. I'm confident. I am determined to not be who I used to be. And I don't want y'all to get the false impression and make it seem like when I say ten, almost 10 years, like, oh, well, you've been working out every day for almost 10 years and you still, no, it ain't been like that. That ain't been my story, sis. It's been up and down. It's been all kinds of stuff in between in them 10 years but at the end of the day here i am october the 11th of 2023 still having a heart and a mind to want to get up and do stuff to be active and to try to eat right and do what's right do what's best for me so i hey i take i take it i'm proud of the fact that i'm not sitting in my house anywhere um, curled up in a corner, licking my wounds and crying and, and, and just stuck. I ain't stuck. I'm progressing. I'm not stuck. And I'm glad. So it's workout Wednesday. I hope you get up and get your work. I hope uh you make your you maximize your moment when you get up and get your work. Don't have do it, sis. If you gonna do it, do it right. Give it your all while you out there. So um, my, my lunch break is almost over. So I just want to, um, encourage you to embrace and enjoy your journey. If it's the Lord's will, I will see you guys tomorrow. If it's the Lord's will, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.